father shot and killed while leaving a bar in New Hampshire. And tonight, police say they've arrested the man who pulled the trigger. The victim's boyfriend tells WBZ that he did have a brief confrontation with the accused shooter inside of a nightclub. Ken McLeod is live for us in Manchester tonight. And Ken, I know that boyfriend says it should never have come to this. Yeah, David, Jeremy Winslow is numb with grief and disbelief. He had planned to bop, pop the big question to his girlfriend during a trip to Barbados next month, but instead he's helping to plan her funeral after something that happened at this nightclub over the weekend. Maybe they hit me. Tonight, Jeremy Winslow recounted those horrifying moments from Saturday night when his girlfriend, Tanya Hall, died in his Jeep, her head on his shoulder. She lights up a room. She doesn't even have to smile, but when she smiles, it's something you won't forget. It began here at the Match Vegas nightclub, where the pair had spent the evening dancing until a bump near the men's room drew icy stares from three guys in black vests, apparently members of a local motorcycle club. I said, whatever, and I had brushed off my shoulder. I had walked back to the dance. For. But when the hostile trio moved closer, Jeremy says he told Tanya they needed to leave. He says the trio followed them to his Jeep, punching at the windows as he peeled off. As I drove past them, standing on the sidewalk, I heard a, a pop, and I knew it was my window. Minutes later, Tanya would be dead from a gunshot wound to the back. Today, police arrested 34-year-old Justin Mora for second-degree murder. But Jeremy believes his two biker comrades are equally to blame. Right now, I'm, I'm still angry that I feel like there's someone else still out there that I know needs, needs to be brought to justice. But even more so, he misses Tanya, the mother to an 18-month-old son. You know, she gave her everything, even when there was nothing. She found a way to make it happen. Jeremy says Tanya was smart, hardworking, and funny. The whole package. The accused shooter will be arraigned tomorrow morning, and police say their investigation is not yet over. Live in Manchester, New Hampshire tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.